What's up you guys? Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In today's video, we're right here with my good friend Sam and we're gonna be talking about the Deadman Off-Road Products, which is a recovery product. It's great quality, you guys will see in a minute because we're also gonna be demonstrating it after we talk about it. So let's go ahead and now get into the video and we'll show you guys. Hey, I'm Sam from Deadman Off-Road. Behind me here is the Deadman Earth Anchor. This is something you guys may have seen used before, say on the beach. You can bury it in the sand as a ground anchor. Create an anchor point where there is nothing else to anchor off to. No trees, no rocks. You can bury it in the snow as well. Today we're out here with Jesse and we're gonna show you guys some of the uses for the Deadman Earth Anchor up here in the mountains. So you can still wrap this thing around a tree, wrap it around a good sized boulder and use it as an anchor point to winch your rig out of a bad situation. So the straps are 15 feet from end to end on these two straps and each individual strap is rated at 15,000 pounds. Simple math, we are at 60,000 pounds on the weight rating when you wrap it around a tree or when you wrap it around a rock. I think one other use we're gonna show for you guys today is how you can use this is actually a winch line extension. You could tow another rig with the dead man anchor. In that configuration, end to end, 15 feet, it's rated at 30,000 pounds. Made in the United States, lifetime guarantee on this. So if you make it fail, we will replace this thing. Wraps up nice and small into a bag called the body bag and that weighs seven pounds and ideally you keep that on the outside of your rig someplace easy to get to. Wrapping this around a tree or around a rock and using it as an anchor point, you wanna bring both sides together and then you're gonna attach these to your winch line with a soft shackle. And so you put everything through this loop and attach it to your winch line and then you can winch yourself up. When you wrap it around a tree, I wanna kinda of emphasize one point and that is that it's okay to fold it over on itself to get it around the widest part of the tree or maybe to even avoid a branch. The strength is in the strap. So if I flip this over, you can see these straps. If you can just bring them as close together as you need to get around that widest part of the tree that you're anchoring to or a rock as well. So you can fold it up just like this and I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it around that tree and attach the soft shackle. So when you are attaching a soft shackle, remember we're trying to use these whenever possible in lieu of a hard shackle or a bow shackle. We want to eliminate as much metal as possible from the recovery process. So I've put this through both loops. The dead man is folded over on itself to as, so as to center these straps as close together as we can. Jesse's truck is stuck down here. So we're going to go ahead and pull winch line and attach to the soft shackle. All right, so like Sam was saying, you guys, my truck is stuck. We purposely, of course, got it stuck to kind of demonstrate for you guys. And just to prove it, I'm going to go ahead and hop in my truck, show you guys, I just cannot go anywhere. So let's show you. the power is just kind of cutting at this point you that's when you want to go ahead and pull up your recovery and anytime you are going to be using recovery products you do want to go ahead and make sure they're great quality and that's why we're demonstrating this today for you guys so let's go ahead and now pull out my winch and you guys will see hey when you're pulling winch line you want to make sure to keep keep the the motor the motor is going to be under a lot of stress here you want to keep the motor as cool as possible so go ahead and manually bring your winch line out you don't want to run okay. the motor to get it out you want to manually pull it out and it can be a little bit challenging on a loose surface like this we're going uphill i'm sure one of us is going to fall but it'll be me there you go <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to have jesse show me where the clutch is on this Okay, so we're going ahead and we're gonna attach the winch line to the anchor. We do need a soft shackle. All right, so the eye on this winch line, this is the Factor 55, this recovery point, is nice and rounded edges. You wanna avoid things with sharp edges if you can. I'm gonna go ahead and run this through the anchor and then through the hitch link. And this sheathing, this black layer, we wanna make sure we can protect as much of the soft shackle dyneema as we can. So let's go ahead and run the sheathing through that eye as well. And then I'll go ahead and attach them here and just give it a good good pull. Make sure everything is secure. That uh, anchor may need to center on its way towards the truck, but it's gonna be under several thousand pounds of pressure here in a second. So it'll probably do that on its own, but you wanna do what you can by just giving it a good tug. Right, hey, so Jesse, we want to turn the truck on because it's gonna need that, it's gonna have a tremendous draw on the electrical circuit uh, system. Exactly. So you wanna have the truck on so as to give that engine as much support as it can right now. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna actually go ahead and tension the line. I do wanna talk about a couple things on safety before we do that. Once a line is tensioned, you don't ever wanna step over that line. When it's tensioned, stepping on it is acceptable, but not over. Ideally, you avoid being near a tensioned winch line if at all possible. Take cover, it's not a spectator sport. I know people wanna get cool video, post it on social, but this is about safety and safety has to come first. So I need people to kind of back away. I discourage any spectators that are anywhere nearby. Honestly, if something goes wrong with winching, the amount of force that that cable or that any of the hook or anything yeah, fly through fun. the air could really, really do some damage. Ideally, you're gonna be controlling the winch. Have somebody else do it, it is putting somebody else in danger. 
So if at all possible, the driver can control the winch. A lot of winch line, uh, excuse me, a lot of winch remotes are wired. There are wireless ones out there, but a wired one is, is fine. Often the wire should be long enough to be able to control from the cab. And I'm gonna have him just tension it real quick here before I step out of the way, because again, it's gonna be very dangerous. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, stop there. All right, so this winch line is pretty much tensioned now, and at this point, I shouldn't be stepping over it. Stepping on it is acceptable, but I'm just gonna get out of the way. I'm actually gonna go down the hill here and get out of the way. And so Jesse's gonna go ahead and anchor himself to this tree and winch up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the way, and you can go ahead. Okay, sounds good. If you guys remember, we were completely, completely stuck. We're already coming up. There it is. And now we're out. If you're familiar with how to spool a winch line in, you do want to keep some tension on it so that it doesn't wrap over on itself. You also want to evenly distribute it from one side to the next. You don't want to bunch it up on one side if at all possible. Notice I'm keeping pretty far away from the fair lead where the, where the line is going into the winch. Keep a safe distance just in case your hand get, gets caught, you have time to stop. I wanted to talk about one more thing, which is how to wrap the dead man around a rock and use a good sized rock like this one here as an anchor point. So you wanna make sure again that the straps are around kind of the widest or at least most secure part of the rock, right? So we're gonna just go ahead and fold this over on itself. If you look at the straps right now, they're actually both very close to each other. So you can see where the two straps, now the way I've folded, these two straps are really close together. That's again, the source of all the strength. We're gonna go ahead and just wrap this around the rock. Just like that. And I'm gonna put it around, ideally around the base of the rock or the kind of the widest point if you can, whatever seems most secure. This one's a little bit awkward on the size and the shape, uh, but just going like this right here, you can see from maybe the back there, if you wanna get a shot of that, Jesse, you can see that I've got it around the rock pretty securely. And again, when we're attaching to the winch line, it's gonna be fairly low to the ground. I'm not too worried about it slipping over the top of the rock, but you would wanna have somebody keep an eye on that. But in this case, this is about all we can do unless we could kind of dig under here and grab a corner like that to make it even more secure. As I mentioned earlier, this is the body bag. And so the Dead Man Earth Anchor rolls up nice and small. You can put it into the body bag. There's tons of extra room in here for other recovery gear. So if you have this on the outside of your rig, keep it someplace very accessible because a lot of folks will put things like gloves or just a soft shackle, maybe a snatch block right in here with the anchor itself and it's easily accessible without even taking the anchor off. Notice these nice long straps run right through the handholds on the majority of traction boards that are out there. Pretty convenient place to have your earth anchor. You want all of your recovery gear to be like a first aid kit or a fire extinguisher. You don't want to have to rummage around to find out where that is when you need it. So we're going to use actually the dead man to move a log out of our way. And so you can actually wrap it around a log or a large rock that you need to move out of the way as long as it doesn't weigh a lot more than your vehicle, you should be able to move that fairly easily. However, it's at an awkward angle for us to get to, so we're gonna do what's called a single line redirect. We're gonna take the winch line from Jesse's rig, we're gonna anchor to this tree, redirect that line towards the log, and we're gonna use actually two dead men for this. Not common that people carry two dead men. I have one, Jesse has one, it's kind of convenient, but it shows you kind of two different uses in one example. We're gonna use something called a rope retention pulley. This is kind of like a snatch block, yes, fewer moving parts. This is made by Factor 55 as well, this is awesome, but this is gonna allow the winch line to come through and it's actually gonna just continue to turn through, go to the dead man that's around the log. Super safe. Yeah, a couple different things uh, to talk about. You're gonna need a saw shackle to attach the rope retention pulley to the dead man. So dead man's gonna go around the tree. We're gonna attach it to the dead man with the soft shackle and then the winch line from Jesse's rig will come through here and then we'll go right over to the other dead man over there. So we'll need a second soft shackle for that and then we'll go ahead and start winching. Let's do it. So right now we're gonna go ahead and pull out the winch, just similar process that we did earlier. And then like we said, we're gonna show you guys kind of demonstrate on the products and show you a real life using it, you know? This was, this is an older version of the Dead Man. They used to have, instead of just two loops, they actually had four. So what we're doing is we're just kind of opening the, just kind of stretching the openings on these so that we can go ahead and run the soft shackle through here more easily. So just loops around. Yes. All right. So and this is gonna get crowded in here. We open up the soft shackle and put that right through like that. And what's gonna happen is the winch line, we're gonna actually feed it through here and the winch line's gonna wrap right around here just like it would on a snatch block. And then we'll go and attach it to the other Dead Man. Nice and slow. We're not under tension yet, but I just want to demonstrate for you guys what this will look like, right? So the rope retention pulley is allowing the winch line to come through the soft shackle and redirect back to the other anchor. 
Okay, so there's a lot going on here. There's a lot inside this particular soft shackle, but the idea is that everything, you've got enough room here. Uh, you always wanna lay things out and kind of plan it out before you go ahead and get things attached. I've done something like this similar, and in the end, I didn't have the winch line through here when I thought I was ready to go. So you just wanna kind of slow down, take your time, make sure you have all the tools you need, and then go ahead and get it set up and then tension everything as best you can before you actually start pulling on it. Heck yeah. So the dead man comes with what we call a body bag and this attaches to the outside of your wrist. So the dead man rolls up in here, nice durable bag. So another use for the body bag is you can actually fill it full of whatever you have that's heavy around, rock, sand, what have you. Use it as a winch line dampener. You can use these nice long straps. Once the winch line is just barely tensioned, we're gonna attach this to the winch line. And what happens is the dampener will force the winch line to the ground if it were to break. We have this redirect going on here. So we really have two sections of winch line, you could argue that you could have two different dampeners in this case. I'm gonna use this on the section closest to the log because the attachment we have around that log is not quite as solid as I'd like it to be. I'm gonna use it over on the other end to go here. I'm gonna go down there and tension that and I'll have you pull some more, okay? okay? So as you can tell down there, he's actually putting the, uh, just kind of, hey essentially it's kind of like a bag, just holding it down, there's rocks in it. Just so that way if, you know, like he was saying, if it were to snap, the weight of the rocks there in that bag, it's gonna bring it down and kind of help slow down when it does snap if it were to, which it shouldn't, but that's just kind of like a safety precaution you guys wanna do. Go ahead and tension it, give it a go. We're clear? Clear. Go ahead, keep going, man. I think you got it. If you guys saw that, it was a safe, kind of like a recovery in a way, but it helped us out as far as needing to move that log that we were moving. And it's cool to kind of demonstrate it to you guys. The product actually worked and nothing happened with the truck, it stayed put. So everything we did was kind of like safety and we did take our time doing it. Like he was saying earlier, you want to take your time on stuff like this because something can go wrong if you do it, you know, if you rush it. So take your time on doing things like this and there it is. I'm gonna go ahead and let Sam just kind of end today's video. And if you guys did enjoy it, don't forget to smash that like button, of course. So. All right, hey Jesse, this was awesome, dude. Yeah. Thank you. We got to use the dead man in a couple different uses. <laughs> I showed you different kind of, you know, redirect. We exactly. showed you, you know, some basics on kind of just winch safety. Yeah. You guys hit up our social media, deadman underscore offroad. And then our website is deadmanoffroad.com. Mm -hmm. And we make a whole host of recovery products, right? Not just the earth anchor. We now have kinetic ropes. We have soft shackles, <laughs> other uh, Dyneema ropes. We do winch line extension. Let us know, reach out through Jesse. I'll make sure he has a coupon code for you guys. Yes. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me through social media. Yeah, any type of social media. So make sure to hit them up. Like I told you guys, you want the highest quality recovery gear in your rig. You want to be out stranded somewhere and needing it and it breaks on you, so. Hit up Dead Man Off-Road for that type of stuff. If you guys like today's video, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.